how are you guys doing so it's time for another video and this video is going to be a little bit different you guys um one of the things i like to do is read i have purchased so far this year about 40 to 45 books my favorite genre is horror and murder slash thriller so i'm going to show you guys give you guys some recommendations of some books that um i purchased recently so and then i'm just gonna go give you some recommendations and then share some of the books i have so um let's get started y'all one of my neighbors back in phoenix um made this for me y'all sorry um i told her my favorite color is purple isn't this pretty and she hand beaded this um really really pretty so this is called everything we didn't say by nicole bart um, so, some of these books you guys i see just out and about and i just grab it um sometimes i just order some stuff that i see on amazon so next up we have my other husband by dorothy compson um probably gonna be reading this when my husband's around gonna try to get into this while he's while he's away okay because i don't want him to get any ideas and i'm looking elsewhere especially since i downloaded the, the ai calvin yeah we need okay our house by louise Candless. um these books so far let me back up these books so far that i'm sharing are mystery mystery type of books okay here's one that i got from my local dollar general called here and gone by Halen beck i started it and stopped <coughs> excuse me because it is it probably has a little bit i think it has to do with a pedophile ring and i really can't do that type of heavy um subject right now but so far it was good i got to about 50 pages and i was like oh i know where this is going here and gone i purchased it from my local dollar general for only two books don't don't be sleeping on dollar general girl sticking to the same genre we have the girl on the train by paula hawkins next up we have nearly gone by l Casimano. Cos and I'm going to share all the books that I have, particularly by her. Um, again, I was at, I think I was at, I want to say I was, where did I get the first one at? I'm trying to think, you guys. Oh, so from uh, uh, Walmart, I'm sorry, you guys, Walmart, I saw this particular book. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. It's a complete series. When I tell you this is one of the best mystery romantic series i've ever read it is the finley donovan series i'm going to show y'all all the different ones it's finley donovan finley donovan killing it finley donovan jumps the gun rolls the dice and knock them dead I absolutely love this series and she has another book the fifth book that's coming out in 2025 I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-order it oh yeah it's serious um now I have a book by Christopher Pike you remember Christopher Pike the chain letter he was a teenage um it was, I don't know what, what genre that is horror thriller mystery murder this is really good he still writes you guys it's called fall and christopher pike is is interesting first of all he writes under a pseudo name his name isn't christopher pike he rarely goes out and do stuff you don't even know what i found a picture of him looking like a vampire and of course i fell in love as as a you know preteen or whatever I, he looked like a vampire but christopher pike love this book now another set of series um, by an author that is very well known for her popular movie Gone Girl, Gillian Flynn. I also have Sharp Objects. This is a series too. Really good. But honestly, one of my best by her that's a very dark, speaking of, Dark Places. Again, these are all three by Gillian Flynn. She's fairly young. At least she looks like to me like she's under the age of 40 moving on we have Stephen King now let me just say this Stephen King child I, I let it slide some because he's older S Stephen King is in his 70s Stephen King absolutely despised Republicans 
unfortunately some of that translates over to his writing i really don't like that you guys i feel like i don't i don't care what side of the fence you're on all right you guys so anyway it looks different because i'm on my phone now and the light is actually a little bit better the the lighting up it but anyway um i feel like no matter what your political beliefs are you should try to keep them out of your dang old book stephen king so baby the last book i read was it was set in the middle of covid so of course he was going off on republicans and anybody who wasn't vaccinated so moving on one of my favorites is Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. And it has the uh, character Holly, who was also in The Outsider, which was also on TV. I read The Outsider too, but that was a while back. I have that book. The Institute. This is a new one that I purchased just last week. And it should be interesting. I thought I have another. Okay, here's some more Stephen Kings. We have, speaking of Holly, the actual book. Holly, this is honestly one of the best books I've read. I've read by Stephen King in a while. There's another one that I have that's <sighs> besides this revival by Stephen King, which I read years ago, is up there. It is really up there. Revival is very disturbing, though, to the point to where I'm gonna be bold enough to say this: if you're not there mentally. If you're not safe, if you're not in a safe space mentally and spiritually, you can't handle revival. I, I feel like he was somewhere dark right now. But anyway, Holly, Stephen King, really good. Um, another one that I purchased from Half Price Books. I'm I'm a I purchase books anywhere, y'all. We have Lizzie's Story by Stephen King. Right. So this is another one that's a little bit, I haven't started it, but it's basically about um, a married couple. The husband is an author or a writer. He unfortunately passes away and the wife founds out all of these dark secrets um, that of course influence him and his writing, which I'm pretty sure, I mean, <laughs> hello, King. So you guys, um, Let's see. Now I'm going to go back to the Gillian Flynn to read, to read the back so you can understand why I think you should really, really read this Dark Places. So the last one I have, which is a recommendation by a true crime, Brittany. She does her makeup and it is called The One by John Mars. And it turned, this was turned into a TV show. Now y'all, a lot of these started off most every TV show story or show excuse me started off as a script um uh or even like a short story example the tale of benjamin button is a short story right and so the one was actually a book turned into a series now let me back up a little bit i know that julian flynn is most known from for gone girl when i tell you dark places is so good it is not what you expect I'm gonna read a little bit of it so they can get an idea of, of what it's about. Libby Day was seven when her mother and two sisters were murdered in the Satan sacrifice in, in Kansas. She survived and famously testified that her 15 year old brother, Ben, was the killer. 25 years later, the Kill Club, a secret society obsessed with notorious crimes, locate Libby and pump her for details. They hope to discover proof that may free Ben. Libby hopes to turn a profit off her tragic history because she, <clears throat> of course, she got money when her parents, well, excuse me, when her family died, but she hasn't been working since. But anyway, she's, she's hoping to make a profit off of this club, right? But as she searches for the truth, her search for the truth takes her from shabby Missouri strip clubs to abandoned Oklahoma, Oklahoma tourist towns. The unimaginable truth emerges and Libby finds herself right back where she started on the run from a killer. Really, really, when I tell you there were so many twists and turns, I actually read the last 50 pages twice because I was so surprised and shocked by the ending. Um, to give you a little bit more about, of course, what's the other one I wanted to tell you guys about, which was good. Um, girl, we ain't gonna do my other husband. I have other books, like I have this short story, The Yellow Wallpaper, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite short stories. Um, but I have other books that 
you know, or a little self-help or whatever. I got a, 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 what do you call it? The stock market for dummies. My husband and I have been investing in the stock mark market. Okay. So stuff like that. But this is what I have been read so far in the past year or so. Most of these I purchased this year. The Finley Donovan, not so much because I got these a while back. But yeah, you guys, that is it. Let me know if you got any good books to share with me. Because I, I could use some more books like y'all. I don't want to turn this part of our bedroom into a library because that's not sexy that, that, that there is literally right now about 200 books sitting over here and me i low-key want to get to i want to get to about a thousand My, that's not sexy that is not sexy so <laughs> but books can be sexy actually okay uh, anyway so y'all that is it let me know if you guys are reading anything exciting thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my subscribers take care bye